What's going on guys, it is Murderink here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be talking about Contra the Cyclone, and pretty much a guide on how to do Spider Stage 20, completely auto, and I did not add this to the Fusion Guide, and I know some people commented about it. I did make a post on it before launching the video. This is a pretty big topic, and I didn't want to group it into... The initial video also this is rather difficult to build however spider 20 is one of the hardest dungeons for i would say a majority of the player base to get through especially on an auto level so i definitely wanted to make a video showing you the exact stats you need and there's a bunch of different team comps you can run so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the spider dungeon and pretty much just watch everything in action here and i will show you the team i am using for this I have Contra as the leader for the accuracy bonus. You don't have to do this. You can definitely run with defense. We'll get into the stats later on how it can change a few things if you choose to use defense. But as we can see here, I'm not really using anybody crazy. So there's lots of room for improvement. If you do have other champions, I have an HP burn champion. I have a decreased speed champion attack up that goes along with the HP burn because of how the synergy works with ultimate Gallic. And then another decreased turn meter champion with cold heart so let's see how this does in auto i am going to do it in one time speed so i can just explain a few quick things the first thing we're going to talk about is how does this work with contra she does a ton of healing based on debuffs expiring on the champions i do have specific masteries on her which we're going to talk about as well one important thing for contra is she does need resistance if you don't have enough resistance she's going to get too many poison stacks on her with that being said she's going to pretty much just get deleted and we don't want that so as we can see pretty consistently getting resisted and we will get into how this works as you can see, when a debuff does expire, there is a fair amount of healing done to her, which really keeps her sustain very good. Another thing that helps is someone like Stagnite also placing debuffs on the target. And a bonus to this is the fact that Contra does not need lifesteal gear for this to work. Based on the amount of debuffs placed on all of these spiderlings with the team composition i'm running now she's healing for a significant amount everything is pretty much self-sustaining and i do have a few nuances in all of the rest of the champions as far as their masteries go to make this work the best so ideally the first thing you want to do is you want to take the support mastery that reduces the turn meter of the spider on every single hit that's going to be key in an hp burn comp like this one also, as we know, Ultimate Gallic isn't the best HP burn champion. If you have the legendary Ignatius, he's fantastic, as well as Tyrant Ixlimor. As we can see here, this isn't the fastest run. However, this will get the job done. It will be able to auto Spider 20. And even if the spider does get the inhale effect and he heals, this will just pretty much keep repeating. And based on the amount of debuffs that are being applied to all of these champions, it's going to be very easy for Contra to stay fully healed with this process. So pretty much going over the breakdown, we have 173,000 damage from Contra. Her role here obviously isn't to deal damage. We have Seeker here at 500,000. Coldheart doing a lot of damage at 2.7. She did get that extra Heart Seeker at the end and Ultima Gallic being the powerhouse of the team with that HP burn effect doing 5.6 million and Stagnite once again just being that defense down champion a decreased speed champion coming in with 285,000 damage. So the first thing to note on all of these champions with masteries, you definitely want War Master on all of them unless you have an enemy max health champion. The second thing would be you want to make sure you don't have a ton of AoE damage because it's very key. These spiderlings do not die in this team comp. So the HP burn debuff gets full value going through all of the ticks, dealing damage to the spiderling, as well as Contra being able to take advantage of debuffs expiring because applying debuffs to a target is one thing but the expiration is what gives her the heal and keeps her alive and makes her such a good off tank now yes she's a good off tank but this brings us to our next point let's talk about the gearing she is a bit difficult to gear here obviously i'm not using all 16 gear because i wanted to show you pretty much what you needed to do so I have 45,000 health. You definitely don't need that much health, but I wouldn't recommend going under 40,000 health if you want this to work consistently. Defense is a little bit low here, and 
the gear I have is suboptimal for building defense. She has very high base defense, so it's very easy to go above 4,000. If you can, I would highly recommend this. Speed doesn't really matter as much for the team I'm running since I do have that turn meter boost from Seeker, so I can definitely be running lower speed on Contra. Now, the important thing here and the hardest part to gear is going to be debuff resistance and debuff accuracy now with 333 resistance which would be a chest piece your great hall as well as a banner of resistance i would say one in every 20 dungeons i'm going to get one or two poison debuffs stacked onto me now i don't know how low you can go with this i recommend if possible trying to stay above the 240 to 260 range so if you do get a poison debuff it's not very often and as far as accuracy goes, you definitely want her landing debuffs. This is where the accuracy lead from Contra comes into play. If you have an easy time building her with HP, defense, resistance, and accuracy, you can run a defensive lead or an HP lead or a champion in this dungeon to make everyone a lot safer. Or you can go with Contra as the leader. Don't have to worry too much about the accuracy on her. I definitely have way too much for using an accuracy lead. Ideally, I can get away with 150 accuracy plus her leader aura, and that will be perfectly fine for this. Since she does have that benefit to land debuffs while she weak hits, which is pretty much the key here. For those of you who are looking for a more of an in-depth guide on Contra, I do have a fusion guide. There will be a link somewhere above in the top right-hand corner of the screen. So look for that timestamp, click watch later if you haven't seen it already, and you'll get a better feel for her kit and what she does. Let's go over the masteries here. I did choose rather specific masteries, and in my opinion, this is the best course of action to go if you are looking to use Contra as an off tank. So we have Rejuvenation, which helps her with her passive heal. We also have Lay on Hands. We also have Shadow Heal in case the spider does get that inhale effect. This is just a precaution to make sure that she doesn't get one shot by the AoE in case her health is low. So this is just a fail save here. Obviously, we have every chance of boosting our turn meter because it's ideal if she can get more turns with the ability to use the A2 again, which is her AoE that applies the debuffs. We have Evil Eye, which is the mastery that I mentioned before that pretty much every champion in this Contra team should have. So every A1 is decreasing that turn meter. So this is the best course of action to ensure you're getting the most out of that. As far as the last two talents, these don't really matter as much. Even Cycle of Magic is not a game-changing mastery it's five percent turn that's a very low chance however if it does proc it can help you with that a2 i did take cycle of revenge here just in case after that consume effect some of the other champions get crit she is going to have a boosted turn meter out of that so she can quickly start getting into reapplying the debuffs onto the new spiderlings and the last one i did take is iron skin you can definitely play around with this if you want to go with the increased accuracy here and build even less accuracy and making your resistance better or if you would like to go with the resistance tree giving you that extra 50 resistance boost, these are all definite possibilities that you can look to pursue. If you're really struggling with damage and you're pretty comfortable with having enough speed and having enough accuracy, you can definitely go and take Warmaster on this champion for that added damage bonus to the boss every time she does get a turn. So these are the talents that I recommend taking for this champion if you are going to use her as an off tank. Now no one else in the team really has special masteries. Outside of having War Master giving every single champion that extra bonus in downing the spider boss as efficiently as possible. Now that we went over that, I'm going to do another run in regular speed time and we'll just be able to watch as I go over my final thoughts for this composition. I think it's definitely consistent. As mentioned before, I'm not using the best champions. There are much better champions you can be using. You can definitely go the route of having a defense down champion like Stagnite here, Tayrell. Ghostborn, you can run Royal Guard, you can run Septimus, and you can also run Cold Heart and just pretty much nuke this while having all of these Spiderlings targeting Contra during the duration of this. However, this strategy definitely makes more sense being paired up with an HP Burn Champion since it offers a lot of sustain and it pretty much keeps the focus on Contra the entire time. As far as healing goes onto the champion 
which are very easy to do. And I have run this before where defense down was resisted by the Spiderling. And the run did take just over two and a half minutes. So as far as I can see, I've only done this about 30 or 40 times. It is 100% win rate with these champions that I have here. Obviously, your gear is going to determine just how fast this is. But if you keep in mind all of the thresholds that I have at hand, you will definitely have good success with this team and ensuring you always complete this. Now, I was able to find the condition where we ran this. And based on the AOE, Coldheart did die as well as we just saw Contra die there. So now we get to see really what happens here. With the HP burn, it's pretty safe to say this is going to win every single time because of how the cooldowns are synced. As we can see there, I do have the reduced cooldown chance to always occur. So we really got to see a good run here. This was like the worst RNG possible that you could get. And we had a cold heart die. We had contra die. We even had ultimate Gallic die. However, the HP burn being on such an inconsistent champion like ultimate Gallic, it did work out well. So this should be a breath of fresh air for anyone who has the ability to build this and can meet the stat requirement for Contra the Cyclone. So for today, that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions about compositions, if you're wondering if they can work, as long as you keep these stats in mind, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer every single person on what my personal thought is on the composition you are trying to run. If you do want to fuse Contra or if you're considering it and saying, Hey, if I wanted to run Contra with these four champions, what do you think my success rate is? I can tell you right now, if you don't have an enemy max health champion and you don't have an HP burden champion, it's not really going to change anything for you. So don't be looking to just power through while using this fusion as an off tank. She's not going to change that much. And part of the reason why I also didn't mention this in the first video is this is rather hard to gear. Even though Spider 20 is definitely one of the most end game dungeons, in this game in my opinion you definitely need solid gear to do this as we can see i use broken sets on everybody i didn't upgrade everything to plus 16 to make the stats more realistic obviously i could have ran 500 resistance 50,000 health 6,000 defense but that wouldn't really be the best showing so i got as low as i can with the gear that i had and you definitely have room to go a little bit lower, but not too much. As you did see in one of the runs that I just did, she did die, even though the run was successful. As always, guys, thanks a ton for watching this video. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Let me know what else you guys want to see with this fusion, if you want to see anything at all. I'm looking for your feedback, and I love reading your comments as always. Thanks a bunch for the support, and I will see you all in the next video.